why do they say that no contact does not work on women? And I don't know if you've heard that, and I hope I'm not the first one saying it to you. But I think, and I don't like to be gender specific because there are men that fall into this category too. So let's talk a little bit about it. The reason people feel as though no contact does not work with a woman is because they feel as though when a woman is ready for a breakup, it's not an impulse choice. It's something that they have sat with. They've made those uh, decisions. They've given a hundred chances. They've done everything they could possibly do to hold this relationship together. And, and if this is not your breakup, obviously scroll because you know, this is, this is not for you. It's, this is not for everybody. But that also holds true to men who have been putting in the effort and really asking for what it is they need and bringing up problems over and over again. Once a person in that category gets to a place of a breakup, no contact is not necessarily going to do the trick right off the bat because they've made a very good decision for themselves and they feel as though this is what they absolutely 100% had to do. They feel like they've tried everything else. They feel as though... It doesn't matter if if not if we're not in no contact. That's no big deal because if we were still in contact, the problems are all still right there. So it's not going to work quickly, and it may not work at all because it's not always the best tactic for people. I'm not always one to say no contact is the way because it's not. Communication's the way a lot of times, but that's a different video. But so right now we feel as though if you go no contact with a woman. Sometimes it also sends the signal to them of even though they've given you a hundred chances, when they go no contact or you go no contact, they almost feel like, I knew it. They didn't want to be in this relationship anyway. They're not even making an effort. They're not trying hard. They're not um, coming back my way. So this was probably the right decision. So there's a lot of mixed signals there. Then on the other hand, if you try to contact the person during the no contact, they may also say, look, I asked for space and, and I mean it. Like, I, I'm not kidding around. And so we have to respect what it is they're saying and what it is they're doing. It is kind of a catch uh, 22 and you don't know how in the world you can be on the winning side of this as if, if there is any winning side. If someone comes to a decision to break up and, it, and they have given this a lot of thought Time does have to pass after the breakup in order for them to start seeing things in a different light because they are going to stick with, I needed to make this choice. I need to build a life in the opposite direction. I'm going to do everything I need to do. I'm going to start hanging out with my friends. I'm going to start traveling. I'm going to possibly go out and uh, experience a little bit of this life by myself or possibly date. All of these things could be going on in someone's head. I know nobody likes to hear that. I'm sorry, but this is all going on. It's going to take a little time for them to experience life outside of that breakup. So if you're the one sitting on, okay, we're going, uh, no contact. Is this going to work? I hear all these things like it's not going to work on a woman. It may just take a lot longer to have any implication. And that also goes for if it was a man that made the decision to break up because he has also been there trying his best to get this relationship to stay on track and then it didn't. That doesn't mean it isn't something that is a valuable tool for people at breakup. No contact is a valuable tool and it absolutely could bring things around but may take a little longer because the other person has to go through the space of if they feel like they made the right decision, they're going to try to rebuild a life. They're going to try to see, can I get on the other side of this relationship and put my life now, you know, in the forward moving direction since I was kind of stalled in this direction here. So they're going to spend some months building a brand new life and then seeing how that feels. Also in that time, they're really considering, they know that if you're on the other end of this and you had any conversation, which I hope you do, in basically saying, Look, I hear you loud and clear and I understand that you need this time. I, I see that you came to this over a period of time. This is not what I wanted. I didn't even expect it. I really thought that things were fixable, but I'm going to give you the space you need. I'm going to respect the decision that you made and I'm going to go really work on a lot of the things that we were talking about that I never really worked on. And so also let them know that you hear them. You're going to respect this time apart, but you heard what they have to say. And you can also say, my goal was us. I did see us working out. I know what needs to be done. Maybe I haven't paid attention to that as closely as I should have. Um, 
but let's take this time. Let's just, this is where we are right now. Let's deal with this is where we are. And that's why I always feel like having a conversation before going no contact is the adult thing to do. I mean, obviously there are some cases where you have to go no contact because things are unhealthy. And, and in that case, if you need to just do it immediately without any words at all, go ahead and you do no contact. But if you do still have a relationship of sorts, it's a great idea to talk about what you want to accomplish in this no contact. You, what you want to accomplish, how you respect it, you understand it, this is where you are now, but these are the objectives. And then go do it. If you do feel like you have to go into the space of, you know what, I wasn't paying attention to what I needed to pay attention to. I'm going to go in that. Go pay attention and try to check in a little bit later. We'll, we'll talk about timelines at another time. But going no contact with a woman is, or I won't even say it's, it, I mean, it falls under that category because I think that's how people classify it. You always hear people saying, oh, if, you know, once a girl breaks up with you, you're done. Like, there's no, that's not true. That's not true. But they may be done for a period of time because of effort that they have put in. And again, this is only for a breakup where you know this woman has put in a ton of time. And if it was a man too, effort. They communicated what they needed. They gave you a lot of chances and then got to a place of, look, this, I don't know what else to do. My, I'm throwing my hands up. We're in a breakup. That's for these kind of breakups. And so they're a little bit different when it comes to how long it takes if you go no contact and you have that space uh, uh, in between for, for very good reason. So a lot of these things that we hear are stereotypical. You know, people say these things, they start to believe these things, and they're not sure what to do. If a girl is done, is she really totally done? Or does no contact even work on a woman? And so I hope this explained a little bit about um, where that thought may come from what it translates to in the breakup world and how uh, that can kind of play itself out all the way to the end. Breakups take a very long time to play out. Let me just, can I just say that? So everyone that, that says to you, oh, if you don't hear from them in, in, in three months time or you don't get back together in six months, you're done. I hate to say that that's crap, <laughs> but that that's not true. Breakups take a very long time because people drift out for a certain amount of time before they start sitting in a space where then the next turn could be back around. And that's not to say you sit and you wait for this person to come back. You keep living, you keep freaking living, but just know that it doesn't play out that quickly. It really does take a long period of time. So it, it, these are things that take a lot of patience. In this time apart, you can work out a lot of things, even though you're not together. A lot of things can be worked out in the time apart. Trust the time apart. So I hope that helps a little bit. I don't know if that was just a long way around a short subject. So, you know, I don't know. But I hope it helped a little bit. <laughs>